What's going on guys? You are about to go through an at-home bodyweight workout. Lots of legs, lots of core. It's a quite a challenging workout. It's one of the Zoom classes we did online this week. Hope you enjoy it. Let's go. Alright, so like we always start, we're just going to get into our quadruped here. Actually, we can go right here. And we're just going to go for some cat cows. Full flexion of the spine. Getting to the peak of that. Moving at the lumbar. Pulling ourselves into... our cow position, dropping that belly button low, exhaling, starting at the lumbar, pulling the glutes down, pulling that lower spine down, running that wave all the way up my spine, into my T-spine, into my shoulder blades, into my neck. We're gonna take a deep breath in, and out, in that flexion position, then from there, we are going to move back into extension nice and slow. way up our spine here. And we'll just do three more. Starting at the lumbar, flex down. Whole spine moves. I get to the peak of my cat, I take a deep breath in. And exhale. And I'm gonna move through the lower back up into the extension. We're only breathing in the in the flexion, so we're not taking a breath at the extension really. Flexing again, moving through the spine all the way down, getting to my max flexion, taking a deep breath in through my upper back. We're exhaling and we can move through extension. All right, from there, we're just gonna start shifting that position, opening up our knees a little bit, shifting that position back, going into the flexion as we come forward into an extension as well. And we're gonna push back. And come forward. We're just going to grease this up five times. Move at whatever pace feels good for you, but just try to move your spine as much as possible right now. And one. Nice. We're going to stick our left leg out. But we're going to do the exact same thing, pushing back into the right hip. Clearing up a little bit of space on our hamstring and adductor, shifting our weight so our shoulders are over our hands, exhaling, pushing back. Three more. And last one. Push. Now we're gonna switch legs here. Right leg goes out, pushing back into my left foot. Right adductor and hamstring, get a nice stretch. Stack the hands and shoulders, push back. And we're gonna get three more. Exhale as you go. Two. And last one, exhale, push back. All right, we're gonna move into another mobility drill right away, but we're just gonna be a little bit more active than we usually do. So, we're gonna start in our deep squat position or our deep eight position. We're going to find our hand, our hand, and pick our foot up into a lateral traveling ape. Now, when I'm doing my lateral traveling ape, I want to sit like as deep as I can into my squat every single time. So I always take that second to, to reset. So I'm squatting, my hand, I place one hand, place my second hand, I'm gonna pick up my back foot first, and then set my back foot first. Hand, hand, foot, foot. Hand, hand, foot, foot. And we're just gonna roll through these for five more reps. Stay nice and low every single time. Four. Three. Two. Those hips might feel, feel tight, but that's okay. We'll get them loose. And one. Now that we're done that, we're gonna sit back. Hands behind us, keeping our chest nice and open, guiding our knees into 90 degrees. Kind of just let them fall into a nice 90 degree pattern here. Moving back and forth between your 90 degree angles. We're gonna do this like 20 times. Really get those hips warmed up. And make sure we're breathing here as well. The taller I can keep my upper body, the better. And we got five, four, 
three, two, and one. Beautiful. We're just gonna go right back into our rock backs, pushing back into the hip, flexing the spine. This time we're moving much faster. Four, three, two, and one. Now I'm more focused about opening up the hip rather than moving the spine. Pushing back into five, four, spreading one leg out, three, two, and one. Now my second leg goes out, I right, push back, five, four, three, two, and one. Now these beasts, traveling lateral beasts, are gonna feel much easier this second round. Let's stand by standing up tall. We're gonna get 10 all together. Sitting into our deep squat, hand, hand, foot, foot, okay? You can get your hip high if you want, or you can keep it nice and low. Priority is sitting into that deep squat every single time we travel. Getting our body used to get nice and low down there, sitting on those ankles. And we got three, two, and one. Sitting into that squat. And last time here, and we're moving on. Tall spine, guiding myself into shin box. Three, we're gonna go for like 20. Letting those legs fall. Three, two, and one. Beautiful. Just to get our ankles going a little bit now that we're already sitting, let's take our left hand, let's put it right under our left leg, under our left knee and pull it up to our chest. Bring our right arm over and we're just gonna go for five slow ankle cars. I'm just taking my ankle through a circular motion without letting my knee or my shin follow. So just my foot is moving here, just my ankle really is oscillating. And then we're gonna go five one way and five the other way. Let's take our time here because we've got a pretty savage leg day planned and we're gonna try to get the savageness done sooner than later. So right arm is going under my right knee, I'm pulling it up into my chest, closing off the choke. And getting that foot going through a nice circumduction, nice and slow. Take your time. And we're going the other way for five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, we'll do one more mobility thing before we get into it. So my favorite little side lateral shoulder tap flow. We'll just do three rounds of this and then we'll get into it. So it starts by me getting nice and tall. So I'm tall here. I'm pushing back into a side lateral shift. Side lateral shift. I'm going to move through these nice and slow for four. Right? We do these all the time. Get long with the legs. Walk it out. We're going to go for one push up. Four. Three, two, one, shoulder taps, and walk it up nice and long. Now the second time, moving a little bit faster. Spreading those hips, sitting onto those ankles, stretching those hamstrings. Four side lateral shifts, find space, walk it out. One push up, four, three, two, one, shoulder taps. Walk it back up, last round here. Push, 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 push. Long legs, walk it up, one push up, four, three, two, one, shoulder taps, walk it back up. Alrighty guys, so for today, goblet squats as our first one, so as heavy as you can load up your goblet squat, we're going to load it up just like we did on uh, last week, 
So whatever weight you can, even if you have to hold a couple weights at the same time, that's fine. For your heavy goblet squat, we're gonna go for like six to eight to 10 um, pause reps there. Then today you're also gonna need some sort of stool, okay? We're gonna use a stool for some Bulgarian split squats. And again, we're gonna load it up heavy again. And we're just gonna stay on the contralateral side this time. So if my left leg's working, my right arm's gonna be holding the, um, the weight or two weights or kettlebell, whatever we're using. Um, and then from there, we're just gonna go into lateral lunges with the same weight. So we're just gonna go here. Actually, we'll go lateral lunge into a curtsy lunge. Okay, and that's gonna be very challenging with the heavy weights. Play with it. Like if, if, you, if you have lighter weights and it's not challenging for you, uh, do more reps. But if we're going as heavy as we can, you should only be getting like six to eights before your form starts to go to shit anyway. So let's start that off in five seconds, starting with our heavy goblet squat. So my goblet is up. Let me get these cameras up a bit. Okay, get your music going. Whatever you got, we're starting with goblet squats. Three, two, one, sinking, sitting on those ankles, holding for one, coming up. Nice, slow, controlled reps. Nothing rushed here. Getting nice and deep. Sitting, pausing for one, coming up. Sitting, pausing for one, coming up. Let's get four more. Four. Three. Two. And one. All right. Now we are setting up our high, our back leg is elevated. It doesn't matter how high. I prefer shorter. This is a little high for me, but that's fine. And we're going into Bulgarian split squats. Left leg forward, right foot on the bench, right arm taking the weight. Six to eight reps, get nice and low. Yeah, six got me on that. If you got, if that was an easy six, make sure you're getting eight. Switching legs, starting in three, two, one. All right, from there we're going lateral lunge to curtsy lunge. So I would probably not use a heavy weight on this one, not the heaviest weight I have. I would hold whatever I'm holding like this, sideways. So we're gonna go lateral lunge, step out, curtsy lunge, six reps. Lateral lunge, curtsy lunge, two, three. Let's see, four, two more, five, lateral, six, Woo. switching sides, don't take a break yet, let's go, lateral lunge, curtsy lunge, lateral lunge, curtsy two, three, three more, three, Two, one, Woo. Okay, big water break there. Jeez, that is hard. Let's lock it in, two more sets guys, two more sets. This should be very challenging for you. Challenge yourself with the weight, challenge yourself with the tempo. Oh man, we're gonna start that again in 20 seconds here. Maybe a little bit less. Just seeing what you guys are doing. 
Okay. Starting in five, four, three, two, and let's go up. Goblet squats with the pause. One, two, three, four. Keep pushing it to eight, five, six, seven, eight. Whew. All right. There is no rush to get into your second set. Take your time setting it up. Dealing with heavy loads here. We want to take our time, not go into each circuit exhausted, but we're gonna start again in five, four, three, two. Left leg forward, right leg on the bench, right arm with the weight. Contralateral load. Let's get our six, five, four. Chest over knees gonna help me get that glute. Three, two, one. Okay. Switching it up here when you're ready. Again, if six reps is easy, get eight. Let's push it here. Three, two, right leg forward, left leg with the weight, chest over knee to open up that hip. Two, three, two, one. Okay. Grab it a lighter dumbbell if you want, or if you want to keep the same one, go for it. Six reps. Lateral lunge to curtsy lunge. Then we're switching legs. Three, two, lateral, curtsy. You're loading one glute, and then loading the next glute. Shouldn't be fast. Controlled and slow. Two. Okay. Switching legs when you're ready. Ladder lunge to curtsy lunge. Starting in three, two, let's go. Water break. <laughs> Almost done. One more round of this, and then we're pretty much done with heavy legs, and we can focus on some other less heavy stuff. How we doing there, Elena? Alina, sorry, Pat. You guys good? No, Ellen is correct. Elena, yeah, right. All good. Good. Heavy? Are you guys getting heavy on it? Yeah, I wish I had a little bit heavier on the, the pause squats, but other right. than that, everything else is nice. Right, okay. I'm trying to use a band. I heard a, I heard a heavier one. This one's not heavy enough. Right. In addition to my med ball, but... Oh, I see, I see. It's better. Maybe put the, the band around your shoulders when you're squatting? That's what I've been doing, yeah. Oh, nice. Okay, I perfect. Have a super, I have a super light one or a super heavy one, and this one's too much, and this one's not enough, so... <laughs> <laughs> okay. I got a medium one coming today, so it should be good then. Okay, perfect, perfect. That's good. Okay, last set here, guys. Best set. Let's push through here. This is literally the hardest thing we're gonna do, potentially all week, but definitely today for me. So keep your reps nice and clean. We got eight goblet paw squats, starting in five seconds. Four, three, two, let's get it. Pause for one. Come up. Pause for one. Come up. Standing up nice and tall. Three. Push your hips. Get tall with your hips. Don't push them forward. Four. Five. Six. Let's keep it rolling. Rear foot elevated. Bulgarian split squats with your heavy weight. 
I'm gonna start with our right leg forward this time, our left arm taking the weight. Ooh, starting in three, two, and let's go. Sit into that hip. Keep pushing, keep pushing. Left leg forward, right leg with the weight, right arm with the weight, sorry. Rear foot elevated. Let's dig in. Almost done. I know it sucks, it sucks. We'll do some fun stuff in a second. Last set, best set, three, two, one. Curtsy to lateral. Just six reps here, but take it slow. Last hard six reps of the day. Let's get it done. We are done. The very hard stuff for today. We're gonna move into. Forget what I said. That set was much harder. What's that? I said, forget what I said. That set was much harder. Yeah, that was a hard set. Yeah, but we're done, so it's all good. Let's move into uh, some rows, some push-ups, and some burpees. Okay. So whatever weight you have right now, we're taking it to failure. Elena with the steel clubs, maybe grab two at the same time or one and just take it to failure. Manipulate tempo according to the weight that you have. So Pat, if you're just rolling that 20, just make sure you're going like one, two, three, squeeze, one, two, and down, two, three, okay? Just, it doesn't matter what weight it is, make it feel heavy, okay? From there, we're going into as many clap push-ups as you can into as many normal push-ups as you can, into as many kneeling push-ups as you can. Once we're done that, we're just going for eight burpees. Okay, we'll do it all together. This one's pretty brutal too, but not as brutal as what we just did. So grab whatever weight you're using. I'm actually gonna use a lighter weight, just to show that tension manipulation a little bit more as we're going here. And yeah, we'll start off with a, kind of a beast row here. One hand's gonna find the same surface I was on before. Hopefully it's high, uh, higher than low. And then my knees are in a nice bent position. Torso and hip, nothing changes here. Just my arm moves. Three, two, one. So I'm gonna pull for three seconds, hold for three seconds, and do a negative for three seconds. And I'm already burning. still got more keep rowing it's okay to be a couple reps behind me switching arms when you're ready stay nice and square
Oh man. Push ups when you're ready. Clapping, normal, kneeling. Starting in three, two, one. Let's go. the failure on the knees. Let's go. Six, eight, ten is what I got. Eight burpees. Just the floor burpees. Come on. Let's go. One more. Yes. Oh. Let's take a few. Oh yeah. Ten seconds and we're back in it, guys. Let's push that cardio on these last three sets here. Sorry, take that. All right. When we're ready, get your rows. Maybe switch the object you're rowing. Switch the tempo you're rowing. This time I'm just gonna go uh, for normal reps a little bit faster and try to get as many as I can. Whatever feels good to you, you should do. Three, two, one, let's go. I'm gonna go for 20 reps here. Easy 20, let's switch it off when you're ready. Clapping push-ups, normal push-ups, kneeling push-ups. When you're ready, I'm gonna go in three, two, one. Beat what you got last time, let's go, beat it. Or at least tie it. You need max it out. I definitely did not meet or beat it, but that's okay. Once you've hit your max, once you're happy with that push ups to failure, let's get it. Burpees, chest to floor, eight reps. Nice and smooth. They shouldn't even feel that hard right now. We've been doing burpees. Six weeks straight. Four more. Oh yeah. Let's take that water break. All right. Last set. Best set. Starting in five. This time I'm gonna row the heaviest weight I can. For as many reps as possible. Just switch your tempo up. Three, two, one. 
two, one, let's go. Clapping, normal, kneeling. When you're ready here, I'm going in three, two, one. Oh god. I only got two on the last kneeling ones. Last set. Chest to floor burpees. Push here guys, push. Let's go. Okay, yes, almost done, almost done. Yeah. We're not gonna take a break. We're gonna go straight into abs, okay? Make sure that you're finding your cylinder, make sure you're finding your core so you can breathe through all these exercises. You want your core to work when you're tired. It's the most important part. Let's get into a side plank, let's maintain, let's calm our breathing down. Let's not have hyperventilating at the end of the set. Let's go up. Calm it down. Five more breaths. Woo. Yes. Hopefully your breathing calmed down a bit. Let's get side plank the other side. Focus on that breathing. Let's go. Recover faster than anybody. Control your diaphragm, control your breathing. Five breaths. Damn, son. Okay. Plank rock backs where I go dorsiflexion to plantar flexion. Keep your butt low. Close the ribs to the hips. And let's move. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six, seven. Let's get to 12. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. All right, guys. Let's get up here. Let's get 10 froggy crunches. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Let's go right into 10 or 20 imaginary mason twists. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 9, 10, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Light work. Let's go back into side planks. 10 breaths. Let's go.
Four more breaths. Three. Two. One. Switching sides when you're ready. Let's go. I know it's a, it's a hard one today, Neil. Ten breaths. Eight to ten breaths. Maintain. Two. And one. Plank right away. It should be easy now. If you're controlling your breathing, easy work. Let's go. Hips to the ribs. Ribs to hips. Two. Butt stays low when I go. Three. Four. Five. Six. Six more. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Oh man. Ten froggy crunches. Keep them safe. Keep those hip flexors working with you. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Let's get six more. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Ooh. Let's finish with 30 mason twists. One, two, three. Five, six, eight, nine, ten, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Yes. All right, let's stay proactive here. Let's just move back into our hip openers, and you can sit into the hip here, and now completely just cool it down. Push back. Same thing we started with. Just one leg extended. I'm just moving back and forth. Switching legs when you're ready. I am actually drenched in sweat. All right, moving back into our cat cows. Ba, ba, ba. Starting at the lumbar, flexion, and moving to extension. Whatever feels good. If it feels good to hold it, then hold it. If you're finishing off your day, then hold it. If you woke up half an hour ago like me, then maybe stay moving. Once you've done a couple of those and you're happy with it, let's just get into a 90-90. So one leg is in front in a 90 degree position. My back leg is back here. And I'm just gonna lean my weight forward, getting a stretch on the glute. The taller I keep my spine, the better. And we can just sit here and breathe. All right guys, hope you had a great workout. That was a super sweaty, tough one for me. One of the toughest at-home workouts I've done so far. Um, subscribe. Follow me. Let's keep her going. Uh, let's get it.